What's going on, boxing fans? It's Jordan Williams with the distance I'm here for um, another post-fight video for the Gamboa and Tagwe card and the Lopez versus the Weveno card. Um, I've actually been trying to upload this video for a while, and last time I did it, it didn't even publish for some odd reason. Um, I don't even know why. But um, anyway, onto the matchup. First matchup: Gamboa versus Tagwe. Um, and Tagway did come out doing the right thing, throwing his right jab. Um, but um, Gamboa was just was just able to hurt him. He was too much for him. Um, in the first round, um, Gamboa was working very patiently in the fight. Um, he didn't come out, kind of go out, you know, like I expected him to, and you know, just throw be like um, bombs away and just throw a lot of shots. You know, um, he was very effective, very patient. Only threw effective punches in this fight. So. Um, Gamboa I gave the first round to had the knockdown 10-8 Gamboa. Second round Tagway just came out, you know, typical Roger M. Tagwe. Um came out wide shots thrown from the hip. Gamboa capitalized on it, and that's what Gamboa wanted. Gamboa wanted, you know, Roger M. Tagway to, to um, come out, you know, and with a different game plan and a different strategy so he could capitalize on that. And he did capitalize on it and he got the um two knockdowns which ended the fight. I believe there was a two a three knockdown rule. He was knocked down one, knocked down twice in um the second round. So that ended up, you know, resulting in the matchup being for um Gambo resulting in Gambo winning the fight. So um Gambo, you know, fought a spectacular fight. Um in those two rounds we saw him in. Um so um that sets up, you know, um a WBA um that sets up, you know, a big match um, match up with him in the future with the next fighter I'm going to talk about Juan Manuel Lopez. Um, Juan Manuel Lopez came out um, very um, you know the first round was kind of, first two rounds was kind of filling out rounds I gave round one to 11 though it was busier um, it was busier he threw more he jabbed more landed more so I did give that to 11 though and, but you could argue um, Juan Manuel Lopez getting the getting the first round as well he did land more compact, more um, more compact and more solid shots than Leveno. So um, you could debate that. Um, second round, I gave it to Lopez. Even though I was debating whether to give it to Leveno or not, I gave it to Lopez. Two through four, I gave to Lopez because he landed clean, effective shots. He was more aggressive, more effective, and was pretty much the ring general in these rounds. Two through four, I gave to Lopez. On round five, I gave to Leveno. I gave round five to Luevano because you know he, you know the first minute or so um, Lopez had the round, but but you know um, for more of the round I did see um, I did give to um, Luevano because I did think he did more in the round even though Lopez landed more. You know I think they did bring up that Luevano threw one more shot than than um, than Lopez or something like that, but um, it did seem that Luevano was a busier fighter in this round. So I gave round five to Luevano. Um, round six I gave to Lopez. You know he pr basically just manhandled him in round six. Um, was effective, was clean, more aggressive, of course. I gave round six to Juan Manuel Lopez. Um, round seven, Luevano made a mistake coming on the inside and trying to fight um, Lopez, giving him a stationary target. You know he kind of just stood there, and then that right uppercut came, and you know um, Luevano went back went right into the ropes, you know, it was you know, right hand, left hand, he's down for the count. Um you know, um what more can you say, you know, um I did think that Luevano could have continued but he did get up a little bit hurt. He was hurt when he got up. So, you know, overall, you know you know, um you know, I guess the referee, you know, didn't want Luevano to take any more punishment or whatever because it was leading to that. You know, especially the way he got up. Um, so overall, you know, it was it was a good fight. You know, you know, somewhat fast-paced action. You know, in the fight, um, wasn't your high octane fight, but you know, overall, it was a good fight, good solid matchup, good um matchup for Lopez. Um, so it sets up the big Gamboa Lopez fight that Bob Arum has been wanting to set up for the past year or so now. So we're gonna, I believe, we're gonna get it this summer. Um, so we, I guess, we have no choice but to wait. But um, anyway. New WBO featherweight champion Juan Manuel Lopez looked good tonight. I wish the best for Imtagwe and Luevano. Luevano did put up a good effort. Imtagwe put up a good effort as well. 
So I hope to see more of them in the future. Um, but anyway, you know, right now all eyes are on Gamboa versus Lopez for the future um, after the night. So um, anyway, if you guys want, tell me who you think right now based on tonight's performances. Who will win, Juan Manuel Lopez or Your York is Gamboa? Just let me know your opinions. Just put in my comments or send to me in my mailbox. Comment me or whatever. But anyway, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.